Hey friends, it's Dr. Chan here. In this episode, we are gonna talk about e-cigarettes and vaping and what it does to your penis. Now, we all know that smoking cigarettes is in general bad and has negative impact on your erections and cardiovascular health. But what about e-cigarettes? People seem to think that somehow they're a little bit healthier just because there's not as many chemicals as associated with a cigarette. What is the truth though? So the study coming out of NYU and John Hopkins looking at men ages 20 to 65 who use these cigarettes, they found that unfortunately there was almost a two times higher prevalence of erectile dysfunction compared to those who did not smoke e-cigarettes. So if you are vaping or using e-cigarettes because you are trying to kick the habit of cigarettes or tobacco, there are better alternatives than this. There's certain medications like Welbutrin or Chantix that have been proven to be effective, or even nicotine replacement therapy, such as gums, chews, that don't have as much negative impact as e-cigarettes or vaping. One of the really good resources that I wanna share with you here in California, we have something called Kick It California that has a lot of resources if you are truly trying to kick this habit. So there you have it. This is my public service announcement about vaping and e-cigarettes. This is primarily aimed at younger folks since the prevalence of e-cigarettes and vaping is a lot higher. And if you've Parents, if you've got kids at home that are vaping or using e-cigarettes, let them know about the statistic because there's nothing that's maybe more important to like a young man than his ability to have intercourse. Well, thanks so much for watching uh, this episode. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to the website I was referring, Kick It California down in the description as well. Have a great day.